Uh, oh, here we go. Okay, so my decision to not move around too much may have been a good thing. All right. Yeah. Okay. All right. So far, so good. We're about three kilometers from the farthest target that I can see currently. Where am I? I'm in sector uh, BE398. We are um, essentially southwest of uh, of Ireland. Southwest of Ireland. Um, tell you what we're gonna do. We'll get a, a one minute timing, and then uh, we'll we'll evaluate as to what it is we're gonna be doing here. No escorts to be seen yet. I know there's a fourth ship here, which I could probably see if I re-engage red. That'll help with my night vision a little bit. Um, there's the fourth, fifth. Yeah, so one, two targets. There may be others. We're going to find out. I'd like to actually probably dive would be a good idea. Just because there's a storm doesn't mean that they won't see us ever. Whatever, though. And Bob's your uncle right there. Uncle Bob. Uncle Bob. All right. So there's our minute timing. Where's my marker? Hello, marker. Where's my boat? Hello, boat. And this here gentleman has moved 210. Interesting. Um, I'm going to say 6-8 is going to be my guesstimation on that. 6-8, and they're on a course of... Let's go ahead and call it 61 degrees. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Uh, click. So, 6.8 for a speed. 61 degrees is her course. I'm going to say the same thing for this guy. 6.8 and 61 degrees. All right. This... Oh, no, no! Don't you dare ruin this for me. Go away. Stupid NPCs. Grr. Hate them. So much. Go away, NPC. We don't want you here. You are a bad man. You are a bad man, and you should feel bad. It looks like we have a completely unprotected convoy here. Which is interesting, to say the very least. Um, yeah. Huh. I mean, it is early in the war, but, uh, these guys have been getting the crap kicked out of them for a while in this part of the ocean, uh, at this point, so one would have assumed that they would have, uh, figured this out. All right, uh, gotta sink it all. We'll see what we can do. We've only got so much armament. We've only got so much armament. All right, I need a, one of these. I need a, I need a one of these things. Can't see my boat. Makes it difficult. I'm just gonna have to guess. We'll be off by a bit, but that's okay. And we're gonna go there. Alright, so target to the forward is uh two, three, six, five for a distance. We're going with two. Let's lower to two meter depth, take dispersion down to thirty. I'm fairly confident of the speed and everything, so that should be fine. Um, now, tricky part is, where is the other shot going to be? This is probably going to be way out here. So we're looking at a, at a difference of like 800 meters, give or take. So like, again, this is very quick. This is not going to be perfect. I'm not, I'm not really interested in perfect at the moment. So it looks like that's going to be the shot. <clears throat> right? Flooding tubes one and two. Flooded. Firing. One away. Two away. Engage target two. Target two. One, five, two, one meters. That may change. I may change uh, what I'm doing about that. But let's go ahead and flood some tubes to start with. The angle is going to be 
K, I think. It's much less than 25 degrees. So it should be all right. We're going to wait until our torpedoes pass that first circle. And even then, that might be too much to tell you the truth. But we'll take the risk. And... Firing. One away. Two away. Okay, Mr. Portelli, let's have you begin reloading torpedoes for me. We'll take a T2 to begin with. And I'm going to start moving a little here. All right, let's erase some of this so I can see more or less what's going on. Okay, looking all right, looking okay. So our first target is a C3. C3, and the forward target is just off her bow. <clears throat> it is an empire of some class. I'm not close enough to see uh, its outline very well. One good hit on the C3. Two good hits on the C3. One, two, three, four. Four seconds. Not bad. One good hit. Two good hits. I mean, I'm cool with it. I am cool with it. Let's go ahead and engage engines four. Okay, we've got an empire. There's our tonnage and a half. That's a liberty. She's probably armed as well. Probably armed. So we're going to think about using a torpedo, possibly a couple of torpedoes on this liberty. Amazing that we've got this convoy uh, basically unprotected in any way. We've got a... That's a tanker back there. That is a tanker back there. Oh. Oh. We're going to have some fun. We've got another empire. So, so far, it's only the Liberty. That is another empire. Another So far, only the Liberty poses any risk whatsoever. Good to know. Good to know. Mr. Portelli, I would like more torpedoes, please. Okay, so the Liberty is my target. We are going to go 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 gadget boat mode here. We want to say hello to that Liberty over there. Got a really deep draft. Seven meat. Yeah, she's definitely armed. We're picking up her weapons now. She's got a 50 at the very least. Uh, and a forward cannon. All right, Liberty class, uh, UK. Good, civilian, freighter. Liberty draft is 7-2. I'm going to go with uh, magnetic triggers on this one. Let's slow down a little bit and start entering some values for my friend here. Um, current speed is going to be something to the tune of 6.15 is my guesstimation. Approximate course is 6-0. Distance to target, 6-5-0, let's say. Single tube magnetic. Take the depth down to 4.5. No, take the depth down to 5.5. See what we can get done there. Warm up the torpedo 2. Firing. Alright, we've got the Empire Lionel. Our only armed uh, ship currently. Liberty Class UK. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, see how we do. Ten seconds. Boom. Mm, I mean, it's not terrible. There is fires. Uh, I'm thinking she might need a little extra encouragement, to tell you the truth. However, since we don't know, we'll uh, carry on. She's gone abandoned, so we know she's dead. Okay, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna point the boat in this direction. How much space do I have back here? 330 meters. We'll point the nose this way. We're not gonna move very far though. So I'm gonna give this guy here the rear tube. She's only 427 meters out. We should be able to get her pretty well. All right, 6.15 seems like a good speed. We're gonna say a distance of 550. No. 
We're going to say a distance of 650 meters, 650. Approximate course is, my best guess is 50. Aft tube, magnetic. Uh, I don't know what we're shooting at, so we'll shoot shallow, 3 meters. Yeah. Firing. Half tube away. Mr. Portelli. Let's carry on, please. Alright, that torpedo's heading that way. We've got to head forward. We've also got to warm a torpedo. We'll go the maximum we can without somebody on the engine. Looking good on our aft shot, provided it... Oh, it's the tanker! Yes! Yes! This is awesome. No fire. That is very unfortunate. Very unfortunate. And it's basically dead, so... Yeah, it's just gonna float on top of the water now. Well, that's poopy. Unacceptable. Um, let's go ahead and raise the boat. Get a little extra speed out of it. Alright, let's go ahead and get somebody on the deck gun, please. We're less than a kilometer out. Very bad seas, however. Extremely bad seas. Gotta keep that in mind. Alright. One. Come on, baby. I think that went right over the ship, sorry. Two. Three. Four. And we've got flames. Hell yeah. Alright, head for this dude. Maximum a go-go, please. Another Empire type. Let's let her get past this a little bit. Slow to essentially one right now. I don't know if it's going to work at this angle. Let's go ahead and kill the motors. And begin. That went through the ship magically. Good, good, good. I'm glad. Whoa, there you go. That's one. That's two. That's three. That's four, and we've got flames. I'm going to let the fire do some of the work for me here. All right, spin us about. How'd that thing hold up? Ooh, it held up well. Lower your shields and surrender your ships. We will add your biological and technological distinctiveness to our own. Your culture will adapt to service us. Resistance is futile. Resistance is futile. The Borg were my favorite part of Star Trek. Absolute favorite part. <clears throat> Hands down. Thank you for finding that. Alright, we've got to do a little more little more damage to this guy first. I like it too. Uh, that would have been a great shot, but I missed. Right? That would have been a fantastic shot, but I missed. Oh, that was a good hit. A uh, little, little trigger happy on that one. It's hard because the nose is so much lower now. We'll go for the rear, I guess. Whoa, easy now. There's a good hit. Easy. Damn it, I really can't afford to waste rounds here. <clears throat> From Hitchhiker's Guide? Alright. That is a fantastic book. The movie was... Okay. <laughs> the movie was alright, I guess. I loved, um... The... I can't think of his name. The, uh, the sad robot. The depressed robot. Oh, that was mint. Alright, I really need you to sink. Can we... Can we work? Marvin, that's it, yeah. Marvin. Really need you to go down, my guy. Please. I have so many other ships to sink. Like, you have no idea. Well, we've got to continue to encourage it until I'm sure, I guess. And I'm very quickly losing the angle to still use this gun. 
So I'm going to have to hope that this was enough. All right. Let's... Um, hmm. What do I want to do here? Oh, look at all the water in my boat. Get out of here, water. Gross. Gross. You guys let all this water in here? Ew. Ew. Letting my boat turn into a sewer. Disgusting. Um, okay, what I'd like to do is, say, go yay far, put the rear tube into this guy if I can, and then uh, chase down the forward guy with the um, deck gun. Yeah, I wonder, do I try a long-distance shot on the forward guy? She's moving quite a bit, and that's like, it's about 1,200 meters. I don't know. I kind of want to try a shot on the forward guy, just because, just for the sake of doing it. You know, I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna. 6.15. Interesting time for the time machine, but okay. Oh, I dig it. Uh, this target is going approximately 62 degrees currently, I'd say. Distance the target is approximately 1, 2, let's say 5, 0. I'm not typing anything. Cool. 1, 2, 5, 0. And forward target, single two, impact should do. Oh, wait, he's turning a lot more than I thought he was. He's now doing something more like 40 degrees. So we're going to have to use a magnetic. Let's bring it up in the water a bit. Three, sorry, two, five meters. And punch it. Yeah, get that torpedo out of here. <clears throat> Looking okay. Looking pretty good. Oh, I think we've got a winner. I think we have a winner. 20 seconds out. 20 seconds, you say. An empire of some type. Legion. 10 seconds. All right, she's going a little bit faster than I thought, but not by much. Maybe 6.2 instead of 6.15. Honestly, I'm... I'm, I'm Fairly pleased with that shot. That didn't go badly at all. All right, Mr. Rowley, I need more torpedoes, Hello? please. Ha ha ha! This is the German Coast Guard. We are thinking, we're thinking. What are you thinking about? <laughs> it's perfect. It's perfect. What are they thinking about? <laughs> uh, I had too much fun. What is that? What just happened? Did that NPC steal one of my shots? What am I looking at? Huh? I think maybe it was a magnetic torpedo fired from the NPC U-boat. That's crazy, my guy. Okay. I mean, wow. Cool. 755. Five. Phantom something. All right. This target's course is what? Oh, she's turning way farther out than I thought. Changes to 830, I guess. What NPC you wrote? The one that was here earlier. It's probably over here in the darkness somewhere. And we're going to say she's doing about, what, 35? 35 degrees thereabouts. Magnetic. Let's see if we can uh, hit this guy. Flood, flood, flood. So you get a wolf pack going. You can. I mean, a lot of people enjoy the mechanic. I, I don't believe it's implemented very well, in my personal opinion. I find that the NPC U-boats just get in my way and uh, ruin my shots, so. But a lot of people really dig them, so hey, why not? Do you, my guy? It's just not my gig. I don't like the wolf pack mechanics. They're the, the NPC U-boats have a very, very rudimentary uh, AI. Extremely rudimentary, so. It's not really my gig. Plus, when you're close to other vessels, you can't use full-time compression. Again. 6.15 is just a little too slow. It's a little, it's a little too slow. But that's okay. That's fine. All right. Uh, let's rush forward. We're going to use the deck gun on this guy. I'm 
hoping that that torpedo I just launched at the other dude is... Yes, it is enough to make her go abandoned. Perfect. All right, let's head towards you. So they're Swedish, yes, but under the fair prize rules, which are uh, like a, a almost like almost like rules of engagement for World War II for the Germans, was any ships traveling with any armed ships, uh, like in a convoy with armed ships, are automatically um, fair game. And she was traveling with a C-3 and a Liberty, both of which are armed. So, what you gonna do? I find your lack of faith disturbing. Right? <laughs> Saying a ship from the country to pledge. I mean, whatever. I'm just on this boat. I don't care what, what happens at home or what those pencil pushers are up to. I'm just doing boat stuff. Doing all crazy Navy crap, my guy. Please pull the trigger when I pull the trigger. That'd be very good. No. 100% no. <laughs> no, it is 100% okay to sink neutral, neutral vessels if they're traveling with armed enemy vessels. That's just how it is. That's just how it goes, my guy. Yeah. Yeah. Get out of here. Uh-oh. They're putting it out. They're putting it out. They're so good at fighting fires. What am I supposed to do with this? Sink, you, you, ooh, you blaggard, you. Thing is, if you're going to be uh, traveling with the enemy, you're an enemy. That's just how it goes. I didn't make the rules, my guy. I didn't make the rules. All right, she's abandoned on fire. She's done. I need more sight, please, Skipper. Okay, now we got to figure out what else is going on here. Um, Speed four is fine. Okay, that is a lifeboat. There should be a wounded vessel over here somewhere. Chivalry. Empire chivalry. A lot of wreckage. There should be the air is. There's that C3. I was going to say there's a C3 around here somewhere. That I blowed up earlier, but it didn't go down. All right. Let's go ahead and let the air out of this guy. I'm not dead. You're supposed to hit it. Yes, you are. <laughs> you are dead. Be dead. Stupid C3. Sink. The Empire... It says, like, a co evoke it or something. Woo-woo. I think they're telling me that that's sinking now. And it is. Very good. Okay. Well, for uh, basically not having done anything except enter the sector, things went very well. 